Hello and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Scottish royal conspiracy slash folklore one. And it is all about whether or not King James IV of Scotland actually died at the Battle of Flodden. So King James IV of Scotland was born on the 17th of March 1473 in Stirling Castle, Stirling, Scotland. His father was King James III of Scotland and his mother was Margaret of Denmark. Now England and Scotland had been at war on and off for quite a long time and so while King Henry VIII of England was off invading France in 1513, James decided to invade England. Now after some small wins capturing some castles, James's Scottish army met the English army at Flodden. The Scottish army did outnumber the English army by 8,000 men because of course quite a few of the English soldiers were actually in France with King Henry VIII but even though they had the greater numbers Scotland still lost. The battle was one of Scotland's worst military defeats and a large proportion of Scotland's political elite died including King James. So James's body was found the next day but there was some doubt as to whether it was actually King James. Though Catherine of Aragon, the wife of King Henry VIII of England, did send Henry James's surcoat. King James's body was taken to Berwick-upon-Tweed where it was embalmed and sealed in a lead-lined coffin before being taken to Sheen Palace in Surrey. Now James had actually been excommunicated by the Pope just before his invasion of England. When James had gone to war with England, he had actually broken the Treaty of Perpetual Peace, which the Pope had actually presided over. So because of his excommunication, this meant that James could not be buried in consecrated ground. Now, King Henry VIII did actually manage to gain a dispensation from the new Pope Leo X in November 1513, which allowed for James to be buried in St Paul's Cathedral in London, but James's body actually remained unburied at Sheen. James's coffin was then actually forgotten about, but this was mainly due to the Reformation that was happening. During the reign of King Edward VI of England, the antiquarian John Stowe was shown James's coffin lying in a storeroom at Sheen. And then during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, James's coffin was rediscovered and open and his head thrown around. But today we don't actually know where King James IV of Scotland's body actually is. As Sheen Priory is not there anymore, and the storeroom where his coffin was kept is now under the 14th hole of the Royal Mid Surrey golf course. James's head was apparently kept by uh, Lancelot Young, who kept it in his house before finally burying it in St Michael's Church. But there are actually many rumours about King James's death. So there have been rumours saying that James had been seen riding across the Tweed and that he had actually gone on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Some say that James did not die on the battlefield and that he had left the field alive and been killed later. Writing in the 1570s, Robert Lindsay claimed that 10 years after the Battle of Flodden, a criminal offered to show John Stuart, the second Duke of Albany, the king's grave, but Albany refused this offer. And there is also one more story that is more on the supernatural side. It is said that during the battle, supernatural beings swept across the battlefield and took King James with them. They did so on the order of the Queen of Elfland. And since that day, King James has lived with the Fae one day to return in triumph to continue his reign. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.